If you can, please download or print out the PDF file on the description below so you can work with me. What is a cut? A cut separates the flow from the source to the sink completely. A dotted line represents a cut. Not every dotted line is a cut. A cut must completely separate the flow from the source to the sink. You will understand once I go through the examples. Let's go through first example. So let's work out the capacity of each cut here. Source is the start. So you can write start if you like. And the sink is finish. So for cut one, so we know that this for I here is actually come straight from the source to the sink. So this is a cut. For this one here is also a cut because it comes straight from the source. So this is a cut. And this one here is another cut because it goes straight from the source. So this is another cut. So for cut one is equal to three plus this cut here, which is four. And this cut here is two. So we add two. So the answer is nine units. For cut two, so this is a cut because this goes straight from the source. So which is equal to three. And this one here is not a cut because this is a cut already. That means it's already separate the source from the sink. In another word, there is no more flow through F and no more flow to D. So therefore, this is not a cut. Okay, so please keep that in mind. I repeat, there is no flow through here or here because this is already been cut off from the source to the sink. So keep that in mind. This one here is a cut because it goes straight from the source to here. So it's a cut. And whereas this one here is also a cut. So which is come from here, the source or go from here. So it's a cut. So the answer is we have three plus this three here and plus five. This one here. So which is five. So the answer is 11 units. Let's try next one. So the question is state the capacity of each cut in diagram one. So remember always identified the source and the sink. So P is a source where it starts. Okay, so the source and this is the sink and is the end if you like. So the first one, this one here, you can see it comes straight from the source here. So this is a cut. And then the next one, this one here is also another cut because it goes straight from the source. And then this one here is also a cut because it can come from here. So this is another cut. Whereas this one here is not a cut. The reason is because this is a cut already because it cut from straight from here from the source. So it's a cut. Now once it's a cut, there's no more flow through vertex A. So because this is come from vertex A, so there is no flow through A. So therefore, this is not a cut. Okay, so please keep that in mind for me. So no cut on this. So for cut one, I just write here. Okay, cut one is equal to, we have 13, then we add 7, we add another 7, and then we add 31. So which give me 58, and the units is kilovolts. For cut 2, so the first one, this one here is a cut. Because it goes straight from the source, you can see here it goes this way. Oh, it can go like this, right? So this is a cut. And this one here is another cut 
because it goes straight from the source here or it can even go like this right so it's a cut and this is also another cut because it can go straight from the source so for cut 2 I just write in here cut 2 is equal to 21 plus 10 plus 31 so 21 plus 10 plus 31 so 21 plus 31 is 52 add another 10 so 62 and 62 kilovolts please stop the video and try this one yourself So to identify the capacity of this card, so first of all, we need to identify the source and the sink first. So this is the source. And this is the sink. So this is a card because it comes straight from the source here. So it's a card. And this one also is a card because it goes straight from the source. This is not a cut because after this has been cut off, this here, and then also cut off this one as well. So in another word, there is no more flow into D and there is no more flow into C as well. So therefore, there is no flow in here. So please keep that in mind. So therefore, this is not a cut. And this one is a cut because it comes straight from the source. There you go. So therefore, this is a cut. So therefore, the capacity of this cut is, first one is 70 plus 90 plus 130. So which is equal to 290. And the units is people per hour. Please stop the video and try this one yourself. First of all, we know this is the source and this is the sink. So for cut one, this is a cut because it comes straight from the source. So as this one as well, it goes straight from the source. And this is also another cut because it goes straight from here. Or it can go this from here as well. So these three are cut. So let's write it down. Cut one. Cut one is equal to 26 plus 17 and plus 12. So 26 plus 17 plus 12. Which is equal to 55. And the unit is liters per minute for cut two so we know this is a cut because it comes straight from the source here so it's a cut however this is not a cut because this is already a cut that means there is no more flow into vertex e so therefore there is no more flow out as well so therefore this is not a cut okay keep that in mind and this one is a cut. The reason is because it goes straight from the source. See, this is here, goes straight here. So this is a cut. And this one here is not a cut because this is a cut. Because when this is a cut, that means there is no flow through vertex D. So this means there is no flow out either. So therefore, this is not a cut and this is a cut. So for cut 2, which is equal to 12 plus 24 and plus 26, which is equal to 62. And the unit is liters per minute. For cut 3, so this is a cut because it comes straight from the source. There you go. 
and this one here is a cut because it goes straight from the source to the sink if you like and then this one is not a cut because this is a cut already so in another word once it's a cut there is no more flow through vertex d in another word there is no more flow out from d either so this is not a cut and this is a cut so we just add these together so cut 3 is equal to 11 plus 24 plus 26 and the answer is 61 liters per minute last one please stop the video and try it yourself for the capacity of cut B so first one is this is a cut because it comes straight from the source so you can write source here if you like and this is sink so it goes straight from the source so this is a cut and this is also a cut it comes straight from the source and this is another cut because it goes straight from the source as well so the total capacity so we just need to write this down so three plus two plus four which equal to nine for the capacity of cut c so the first one is three this is a cut because it goes straight from the source to the sink and this is another cut because it goes straight from the source and go through here now this is not a cut the reason is because this is a cut and it goes straight from the source since this is a cut in another word there is no more flow to this vertex here so this means that there is no more flow on this edge either therefore the only cut for c is this one this one and this one here so now we just add this weighting together so the first one here is 3 we add 6 then we add 4 so 6 plus 4 10 so 13 thank you so much for watching